School was as typical as ever before. It may be online school, but wow, does it get frustrating. During our lunch period, instead of eating, I went ahead and turned on my Switch to play some games. I felt like something that would soothe my head out a bit, so Minecraft seemed to be the game I needed. I was still a bit upset that all my worlds went missing, but making a new one wouldn't be so hard for me. When my new world loaded, I realized I had a really terrible seed. I was on an island with not a tree in sight, and the ocean surrounding me. So I was just going to leave and make another. But I did recall that world the game ended up bringing back for me. The one I have no memory of making. Turns out I was wrong about something. I always thought New Worlds would be named My World, yet the one I made at the moment was called New World. I found it quite odd, trying to think why I would name a world My. Though to be fair, I have called one of my worlds just No before. Maybe I was just trying to make a joke. I actually got rather curious, as I wanted to see what was lurking inside this world. Perhaps some old bills that could help me remember. Upon booting up the world, there was nothing too interesting about it at all. Just a regular forest biome with no bills in sight. I took a few steps and I ended up falling through the ground into the void. Before my life bar could hit zero, however, the game froze for a few seconds. And then I was teleported back to my original spot. The ground worked as usual now. But I found that to be the weirdest glitch I've ever encountered on this port so far. I wonder if I could find some any more around the world that I could show off to make some funny videos out of. That was the first major glitch I encountered on this experience. Mostly every other slight bug was, well, just that. Just occasional lag and the world chunks not generating fast enough. I think the strangest minor glitch I had encountered in the world were the cave sounds. I don't know what was up with them, but they were happening much more than usual. Every two minutes a random cave sound would play, and I was in broad daylight most of the time. I knew the game was buggy, but wow. This was probably my worst experience playing this port in particular. I think I just straight up decided there and then that I didn't want to play this game anymore, and it needed to get off of my system. So after making it to a snow biome, I pressed the home button and went to the game settings to delete it. Saving it to the cloud might have been too risky, so I was just going to do a full deletion of the game. When I did that, however, I got an error message. It didn't say anything about failing to delete the software, just the usual software error message came up. I tried and tried again to delete it, but nothing was working. On the final time, I just gave up and clicked the OK button. At least I thought it said OK. As the message disappeared, I noticed for a brief moment that it was a completely new word that replaced the usual OK button. From what my eye could catch, I could have sworn it said stop. I decided to open the game back up, feeling rather defeated that I couldn't even delete the game. After unpausing it, I got back to exploring the snow biome, but I was taken by surprise as my footstep sounds were completely different. They were louder and much more heavy than usual. After jumping around with them for a little bit in confusion, it hit me. These were... the footsteps you hear when you first meet Sans. After coming to that revelation, panic grew as I began to hear some the same footsteps coming from behind my character, and they were coming in fast. Before I could have time to react and turn around, the game froze. It stayed like that for five seconds before cutting to a black screen though I could faintly see static lurking in the background. I hit the home button and was taken back to my home screen like normal. Thank god, I thought. I closed the game, thankfully not getting a message saying I couldn't. I rested on my bed for a minute trying to comprehend why the game was so fucked up. That's when I remembered the game that came with it, Undertale. I was still unsure on if it would even work or not, but I decided to try for a bit. Opening the game, it took a long time to load anything in. When it did, however, I was in the exact same spot as before. Something changed though. The text box above the screen now said something. No equals object sends. Grievous error. After that, I still couldn't do a thing. I thought I did when I was able to get Frisk to look at the camera. But that was the only bit of movement I was able to do. At that point, I was tired of playing the Switch. I had to get back to online school anyway. So I put it on the dock and got back to my school laptop.